Joining us now to talk smart toilets is our friend gastroenterologist and author of Let's Talk Dr. Sabine Hazen. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Hazen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Another exciting topic. You know, I have smart toilets in, well, two, one for me, one for my wife in the house, but not with some of these things that really have gone to a whole new level. So tell us these new, new generation smart toilets, what can they tell us about our health? Well, I think the same way people have smart watches, biotech companies and research studies are trying to develop these smart toilets. You know, they're either a toilet or they're just a, an attachable seat. And what they're supposed to be designed for is to look for signs of GI problems, digestive disease, monitor your blood pressure, they say. They also say they could do your vital signs, check your vital signs, your urine test. You know, our lab diagnosed and found COVID-19 in the stool. So the, the toilets are supposed to tell you perhaps you have COVID. Um, you know, anything from your weight to your sodium to whether you have IBS, that's what they claim anyways. But hopefully this is medically researched and not just a marketing and that actually has some validity to it and not just, you know, a good marketing. Right, Dr. Orton? That is one smart toilet. Let me tell you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put us out of business, or at least you out of business. I'm not, I'm not in the poop business. But tell us, Dr. Hazen, how can a smart toilet tell the difference between your poop and another family member's poop? So there's actually three different methods that uh, different company uses. I think the first one that they're uh, planning to use is really these cameras. I'm not sure how people feel about having you know, a camera videotaping their bowel movements. Uh, there's privacy concern. I wouldn't want that. Uh, the other one is a fingerprint. So every time you use the flush, it kind of tells your fingerprint. Again, privacy issue. I don't know if I want to have my fingerprint. And then the other thing is really something we've worked on, which is kind of a bio, a microbiome marker, um, because we've discovered that everybody has different microbiome signature. And so Perhaps the way to identify is through identifying through the microbiome signature or a poop print in a way. Cameras in our toilet, guess what? They're going to end up on TikTok and everybody's going to have a comp competition with what they recently videoed uh, in the privacy of their home. I, I, I don't know what's next. So, Dr. Hazen, explain to our viewers how poop presents as an opportunity to track our health in many ways. So uh, stool biomarkers are essentially a way to learn about your microbiome, right? So we all have different uh, signature of our microbiome. Those are good bacteria and bad bacteria that live in our gut. And so it's, an, it's a look into the microbiome. Uh, we discovered, especially with COVID, that there are certain people that have susceptibility markers, potential susceptibility markers that predisposes them to COVID versus those that actually don't catch COVID. So a biomarker or looking at the microbiome or a fingerprint of a microbiome with certain disease can actually guide us to prevent disease in the future, potentially Alzheimer's markers for autism, Parkinson's. So that's all what we're working for. Gotcha. All right, Stacy, back to you. How do you think smart toilets will affect our personal relationships? I hope it doesn't become some sort of competition. <laughs> Well, as a psychotherapist and a relationship expert, I'm involved in a lot of uncomfortable conversations. And while I'm listening to this and thinking this could be really helpful information for me, I can't even imagine what it would be like for the guest at my house, who I find out has some biomarker or maybe diabetes or, you know, that they have uh, a certain kind of drug in their system. And then am I going to tell them and how am I going to tell them? And then are they going to even want to use my toilet? Or are they going to feel like they can't come over because their privacy has been violated? Yeah, I wasn't even thinking outside the box of the toilet seat like like you were there. I mean, with guests and if, if this thing is working 24-7 coming up with, like you said, drugs in your system or uh, a, a true medical issue that you would have to share with them. I mean, that opens up a, um, a whole, whole new can of worms. Dr. Hazen, I know you have a pulse, as it would seem, for these smart toilets. Are we going to see them readily available anytime soon, Doc? I think we're about three to five years from now. Okay, interesting stuff.